Where the heck did I leave my ratchet? Oh, there it is. How silly of me. Oh man, you want that peanut butter interior? I got you. Got that real BMW, real peanut butter. This customer showed up with a mouse inside the headlight, clueless about how it got in. The technician had to remove the entire headlight to set the little guy free. This customer tried fixing the engine shield noise by securing it with a screw directly into the oil pan. It's about to start my unit. I'm gonna check the oil first. Oh shit. That's weird. Let's see. Turn that off. Let's check in here. Uh, see if there's any oil in here. Uh, yep. Oh yeah. Okay, we definitely got oil. Ready to go. Before we continue, don't forget to hit the like button. So this customer didn't realize that there was anything wrong until his airbags blew up, right? Found out that the uh, height sensor, I know I was in the splash zone, height sensor is uh, not working anymore. But uh, you know, the shocks are blown out and leaking. And uh, most importantly, upper control arms completely blown off. It's kind of crazy. I. I always wonder how people don't even realize what's going on behind them. The whole rest of the truck's in decent shape though. It's got that going for it, which is nice. This customer pushed their Ford 1.0 EcoBoost for over 35,000 miles without bothering with an oil change and even ignored the low oil pressure warning. The technician discovered broken timing belt pieces clogging the oil pump strainer, resulting in critically low oil pressure. The engine overheated and eventually seized up. Customer states, Vehicle makes a rotational noise while turning at a high speed. Well, bud, I ain't no expert, but uh, I don't think your wheel's supposed to be riding along your stabilizer bar. Yeah, or hitting your control arm. I mean, come on, dude. Y'all want to talk shit about them Ling Longs. What about the, the beefy baby three? This Ford F-250 owner noticed that his brand new car had mismatched headlights. Digging deeper, he discovered that more cars shared this problem, leaving him wondering if quality control is just a thing of the past. <sighs> yeah, that doesn't seem like too smart of an idea now, does it? Wonder what's gonna happen when that airbag deploys right at you. Yes, I might be uh, a little too lazy. I won't even fix that, but you know, good thing I got one of these bad boys right here.
check out what this guy received from AliExpress after ordering an accessory belt for his car. All right, so the driver said his truck keeps cutting off every time, uh, uh, right after he filled up. I mean, that's that's pretty clear for diesel. But uh, this is a sample I just took. See what happens. Yeah. Yeah, it's not diesel. Who needs motor mounts? Nobody needs motor mounts. Alright, go ahead and hit it. Look at the state of this. <laughs> Custom install, boys. Look at that bad boy. Let's check it out. Got the big screens. This semi truck driver faced a double trouble scenario. Not one, but two check engine lights appeared on the dash. Guy just drove us forward up here. It's 11. Said it's not acting right. I popped the hood and it's looks like his belt's done come off. So we're gonna get him a belt put back on here and get him back on the road. I'm surprised he's able to make it up here. Get that belt all tangled up like that. Easy fix. Now let's tow the car from the bumper and rip everything. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. Asking mechanics, what's the worst car to work on? Uh, I don't like German cars. Ryan, what's the worst car to work on? Uh, Land Cruiser. Worst car to work on? Uh, anything German. <laughs> worst car to work on? I would have to say BMW. What's the worst car to work on? Anything German. What's the worst car to work on? I'd say probably an Audi. <laughs> What's the worst car to work on? Anything American. <laughs> What's the worst car to work Whoa. on? Oh. oh. <laughs> This guy got fined because the truck next to him ran a red light. The fine was also signed by a traffic officer. This is what happens when you don't tighten your brake caliper up. <laughs> Through the rim! Billy Bob is this. <laughs> this customer brought his Mini in for a gearbox replacement. The technician was shocked to discover that it had no coil springs and instead had yellow rubber spacers in place. The customer's response was the springs were rusted and this was the cheapest way to make the repair.
that's it for today's video. Don't forget to send us your photos and videos for a chance to be featured in our next one. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Oh,